Hi and welcome to Pumpkins Nail Station. Today we're going to be doing a just a bit of nail art. Um, I'm going to be recreating this design that I posted on Instagram. I'll post a couple of pictures now of it. It's um, like a translucent nail if you like. like. Look you can see through it. So it's like a the inspiration that I got from this nail was one I kept seeing it on Instagram and two I've got a dress that I wear like this um, and it's for funerals yes um, and I'll be going to a funeral as well so sadly that's sort of why I had to sort of plan this manicure I think because um, I'm thinking of putting it on my nails for when I go to that but anyway it's a beautiful design aside from that but I didn't have like a sheer black polish so I thought what how are they doing it you know what I mean? A sheer black polish never entered my head. I was just thinking, how are they doing it? And then I had like a slight brainwave. I wouldn't say it was a brainwave, but I actually thought that it was a matte design that the pit that they was doing. Hence why I got a matte top coat out and a black gel. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm just going to be popping a bit of black gel onto the canvas. This is an I May Lee black gel, um, number... 007. It's a really nice black, by the way. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I've just got this matte top coat from Born Pretty Store because I don't want to waste my good matte top coat from Amy Lee for mixing polishes. So I'm just going to pop this in. And number one as well, the reason I like this for mixing it as well is because it's a lot thinner than a regular top coat. And then I've just got a gel brush here. And I'm just going to pull some of it to the side like that get a little bit more of that and try and mix it as pale as you can you can add a bit more of the black whatever you like but I think that's a good consistency there so we've got that on the canvas ready to go so basically you're just mixing your black with a bit of matte top coat with a gel brush bam we're ready so what we're going to do now, I'm going to pop the tip into the flexi finger. I'll put the link for this flexi finger as well in the description box um, because they are amazing for doing training on. Um, I love it, I absolutely love it. I bought the hand, it should be here on Monday. I'm so excited for that. I won't, I won't play with it until I've done an unboxing, I promise. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a base coat. I'm just going to grab a base coat out of my drawer. Okay, so I've got an IMA Lee base coat. So I'm just going to base coat this nail because it would be better for when I put the dots on and the lines. It gives it something to grip onto. So I'm just going to base coat this and cure it. Need to switch my lamp on. I need to reorganise this desk, you know. So um, I've got my lamp where I want it, where I can just swing my finger and my hand into it. So that's a plan for next week to reorganise my desk. So I've just used the I Lee base coat, so that's a really nice base coat, and we'll be using the I Lee No White Top as well. And then we'll use the I Lee Black. I've just got a cheap gel brush um, because that's what we're going to use to apply it onto the nail so it's best to use a gel brush for it and what else you're going to need is a liner brush to go around the edge of your nail so I bought these brushes from um, eBay so basically it's like that I bought a few of them um, bought this one I bought a clean up brush and they come in the tubes like that. I think they're about £2.50 a brush. And they've got beautiful lids and caps like that. But when you finish with it, put that on and put it back in there to keep it nice. That's how you keep your brushes proper. So we're going to need that. I liked it because it's got a lid on it and I'm always, I'm always losing these. I'm always losing them and then the brushes just get ruined um, because they've got no protection. And they just get ruined and then I end up losing or getting all the stiffness out of the brush and oh yeah so I wanted something with a lid 
and you're also going to need a dotting tool so you're going to need a dotting tool with a big end like that so with the black that's there that we've not mixed in we're just going to roll our dotting tool in there now like that and then we're just going to add some dots to the nail just like that it's probably best to really press it down and just make sure you get a nice round circle and you can turn it over and do some slightly smaller ones you know like in between or you could add some you know sequins and do like a dotty cure or something like those sequin glitters I'm just doing it black because that's what I want so I've got enough dots there so I'm going to flash cure those for 10 seconds so they hold in place and then we're going to get our liner brush in the black polish as well if you've got gel paints use those but I don't so So I'm just putting plenty of point paint on the brush. I'm going to turn this around to face me for this part. Okay. So I'm going to make sure you can sort of see what I'm doing. And just tip the brush back down so that there's not like a big weight of polish on the edge there. And we're just going to paint around the edge of the nail. I'm not the best painter because I've only just started doing free hand work so some people may be a lot better at this than me and then I'm just going to come down the sides like that. so like I say I'm not doing it the neatest I'll tidy this up with a stiff brush after quicker you go the neater it is I find you know if you mess around with it too much but if you just go for it like that you'll end up with a nice neat line so we've got a line going round the nail now so I'm just going to cure that in as well I'm just going to cure it for 10 seconds so how you clean your brushes is you just get a bit of acetone into your pot like that and you just dip your brush in like so. Just dip it in and then just run it over something like that like a sponge. Just dip it in, don't like be rough with it. Just until you get rid of all the paint, you just give it. Because if you're too rough with it by pressing down on it, you'll lose the stiffness and you don't want to do that. So I've still got my stiffness in my brush. I'm going to pop this on it. Just to keep it all nice and pop the lid back on the brush as well. So there we go. So we've got that. And now we're going to go to the exciting part. Let me just check we're still all right for time. So now we're going to get this, pop it into our uh, sheer black gel, 
and we're just going to paint over the fornail like that and you're going to do this probably two times or something or until you get the consistency that you want and because it's really thin you can just keep going over it it doesn't matter because you're not going to be building up a thick a thick layer this is why it's good to use a gel brush because you'll get a nice a nice flat flat, flat strokes like that so I'm going to cure this now I'm happy I'm going to stick that into the lamp for 60 seconds because it's a matte top coat it does take a bit longer and then I'll come back and we'll put another layer on and then we'll put the um, glossy top coat on top to finish so I'll be back in a minute okay right so we are back so now we're going to do another layer of this um, sheer black polish just by dabbing it into a, a brush and now we're just going to go over it one more time I reckon because you want a bit of colour to it but you still want it fairly like translucent so like this would be good if you were doing a negative space manicure like you could use whatever colour you've got, you know, if you've got like a clear, like a coloured jelly or something and you wanted to do it pink or yellow or green or whatever. It doesn't have to be black, it can be any colour. You can do this with any colour. So you might could have done it pink with this pink gel and mixed it in. Or if you've got like a translucent colour, like I saw on um, Nails of Interest the other day in a recent video. Oh, was it a new? I think it was a New Year's Eve video. She had a clear, like a pink translucent one. So you could use something like that. Anything. Anything that's translucent like that, but you could produce this sort of nail with. It's just that I don't have any polishes like that. So, hence why I'm doing this. And now we are going to top it off with a no white top coat after we've cured it for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to use this I May Lee one up. Okay, so we're just going to let this cure. Um, I'll put a few photographs up as well of the nail, that, of the photos that I posted up of this nail. And all the links for the products that I've used will be in the description box, including the brushes. Um, I'm not sure where I got this one from. I think it was eBay, but you know what? If you can just look for a gel brush, cheap gel brush, and you'll find one for about two quid a quid they come you can even get them in sets like this any anything anything that's got a gel brush in it will be fine okay right so that is cured now so now we're going to add our no wipe top coat to gloss it up and this will really add the gloss to the nail Much in left in this bottle, but you may need to put one or two top coats on it just because some of the dots might feel a little bit bumpy because the, the layer of the thin one that you put on is not that thick. So, how I did the other one was I put a couple of layers of top coat on, give it a little buff, and then come back and done it, and then it was nice and smooth. Sorry I'm doing this backwards so I'm just trying to make sure I've covered everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to cure that. So we'll just recap on everything that we used. So we've used the I May Lee base coat and top coat and the 007. So we've used the black 007. <laughs> Am I doing the right way? So we've used that. We've used the I May Lee base coat. And we've used the I May Lee No Wipe Top. I May Lee do do a matte top coat, but I did not use it for mixing in my polishers. <laughs> I just used this cheap um, Born Pretty one, and it's called a Scrub Seal Top Coat. But it's it's that's a matte top coat by them. 
and we've used a gel brush, a liner brush and a dotting tool and a canvas to mix it on from She Modern. So that's what we've used and I've used a 48 watt Sun 5 a 54 watt nail lamp as well, UV LED. But you can use any lamp. So yeah, so that's it, it's done. So it does feel like it could do with another top coat. So I may do that and then we'll see if it if two top coats was enough. These bottles are nearly running out, that's probably why it still feels a little bit like that. If you used a bottle that was nearly full, it probably wouldn't do this. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think the nail looks beautiful. What do you like think? Do you like it? Would you, would you try this? If you do, don't forget to hashtag me on Instagram at hashtag pumpkins nail station. I'll put the link to my Instagram in the description box as well. So if you want to follow me, tag me and send me any pictures of any nail art that I've inspired you to do. I would love to see it. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the finished design. So it did get quite a nice response on Instagram, hence why I decided to do it. So yeah, so that's everything. So thanks for watching. Bye.